for the cheapest coins on the internet right now head on over to mutt coin bank guys you can get a million coins for 40 bucks with tax covered instant delivery you will get 24 7 customer support and of course if you guys do use code poodle you'll get 10 percent off and your ea tax covered what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys today i'm gonna be going over the brand new ultimate legends that are coming out as of 10 30 guys they should be in game as of now now guys we got three new ultimate legends now of course the first one on the screen isn't exactly the most flashy one cool name not that flashy in terms of madden though but we we have some better ones coming so definitely stay tuned for that guys now Ultimate Legend Saturday, guys. We still have this going on, of course. Now, I do suspect that this could end. Not yet, but, you know, maybe the final month of it could be May. I don't know how long this will go, considering they did drop all the other weekly content. But, guys, nonetheless, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's up. Let me know which one's going to be your favorite, guys. As well as, if you need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout. They are covering EA tax, guys, so make sure you take advantage of the recent upgrades to their policy, right? Now let's get into this guy. So first we got Jerome Bettis, 99 overall power back for the Pittsburgh Steelers. In his career, he had 3,479 3, attempts, 13,662 yards, and 91 total touchdowns. Now, speed 95. Upsetting because that means he only gets to 98. And you know Jerome Bettis isn't going to have crazy agility, so I was hoping at least he had the straight line speed. Uh, Excel, 96, not horrible. Will be a 97. Agility will be a 91. Carries 99. Catching will only be a 73. Change of direction will be 92. Truck 99. Break tackle 99. Here's the issue with Jerome Bettis, right? He doesn't get 99 speed or excel. Very low agility. Very low change of direction. Pretty low catching. And nowadays, guys, you can get running backs like Maurice Jones Drew with Max, let's just say, right? Ladanian Thomas, any of those new backs. Reggie Bush. They all get 99 speed with 99 excel with like 99 agility carrying. They even have 80 to 90 catching, route running. And they have hybrid tackle. And someone like like Ladanian Thompson even has a good truck while having all those things. So it gets to the point where you wonder, like, how do they have cards who are both 9 and overalls, but one can do something so much better than the other? And then the other stuff, like, all Jerome is good for is the power. And these backs have power too, right? Power and carrying, I guess, right? It just makes you wonder sometimes how they decide in certain stats. So, yes, I understand in real life Jerome Bettis didn't have crazy agility or change of direction, but in real life, maybe he wasn't a 9 and overall either, right? All these cards are boosted up to max overall, so they should have closer to max stats. Now, his catching didn't have to be higher than an 80. I understand what the catch he's at. Maybe he wasn't a big receiving back, but moving on from Jerome Bettis, to the next card. This card is, you know, not too much to talk about here. Next, we got Leroy Glover. Again, not that not that exciting because he is a team captain. Now, of course, just because they're team captains doesn't mean they're complete washes because you can also go ahead and get them and a team captain. So, you can make it two out of those players. You know, it's not like you only have one and then drop them two. But Leroy Glover has an 84 speed, 95 excel, which for a defensive tackle is actually pretty good, not going to lie. Powered up and kept up, he can get up to about 87 speed with 96 excel. So, going to be super athletic for a defensive tackle, although people haven't really been using them this year. 94 strength. We'll get 99 tackling, which is really good. 98 play rec. We'll get 98 block shed. 99 uh, power movement. 99 finesse move. So, this is going to be a really, really good defensive tackle. In his career, he had 557 total tackles, 83.5 sacks, and 93 tackle for losses. I thought it said 9.3. I was really confused in that one. But Leroy Glover looks great, guys. He's not, he's not bad. I mean, just because he's a defensive tackle, he's going to get a bad stigma, a bad rep overall. But I believe that Ger Leroy Glover is still a really, really good defensive tackle. If you guys use defensive tackles, he's end game, of course. Of course, you can't get his team captain. But if you did want, like, if you want to use Eddie George or one of the other ones, then of course it would make sense to buy this one because you already use your team captain somewhere else. But I guess it's up to you, right? It really comes down to you and your personal opinion on this stuff because not everyone's going to be the same. Some people don't even care about the meta, like you know outside linebackers you know ends inside some people just play the game the way it was built you know they use middle linebackers they use defensive tackle so for those people that probably enjoy a nice the Roy Glover upgrade and enjoy the fact that they get to go ahead and get him he's, he's super athletic right that's not horrible for defensive tackle and finally guys the cream of the crop the really the only good player from this drop Michael Vick right here guys Michael Vick 99 overall Mike Vick this is exciting course we didn't get a golden ticket Vic this year which is weird because i'm really used to always getting a golden ticket Vic. now mike Vic, on the other hand being known as one of the greatest Madden quarterbacks of all time 22,464 yards 133 touchdowns and 80.4 qbr which is his quarterback rating now this card for the falcons of course can be powered up so you can't get them on the eagles the falcons the steelers and i believe the jets so this card's gonna be good he's gonna be pretty good um, he's not the only issue with this card is going to be chemistry. Oh, uh, sorry, abilities and archetype, right? Because of course he won't get 95 medium off the rip, 
Um, he won't get certain abilities like, you know, Gunslinger, Conductor, Hotrod Master for the right AP, right? He'll be able to get them more than likely, but he won't get them for the right AP. And honestly, there's a chance he may not even get one of those abilities at all. So he won't be a meta quarterback. He'll be a fun quarterback. But essentially, guys, you can go get Golden Ticket RG3, and he's going to be night and day better for release. Well, I mean, Michael Vick's release isn't horrible. But RG3's release, he'll have his speed as well, but he'll also have all the archetypes that he wants. He'll have all the abilities he can get, as well as being a Golden Ticket, right? Um, and the better carrying and everything else. But Mike Vick, powered and chemed up, he'll have 99 speed. He'll have 99 throw power. He'll have 99 throw short. He will have 97 throw medium. He'll have 97 throw deep. 93 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, 94 throw under pressure, sorry, <clears throat> and 98 play action. The card's going to be great. From a stat perspective, he'll be great. He'll be fun. He'll have 99 speed, right? He'll have 99 excel, probably. But the fact of the matter is, abilities, archetypes are going to hurt him, as well as, you know, we got, we got an RG3, which is going to be Michael Vick GT edition, right? That's pretty much what that's going to be. In terms of the speed, they both get to 99, throw power 99. RG3 is actually a way better thrower as well as he will get all the archetypes and abilities that you want for the right ap amount so all around rg3 is going to be the better option so you know this wasn't that exciting of a drop definitely not the best drop we've had of course guys any other time we got this vic it would have been great but because we got it after rg3 it pretty much just numbs out the fact that we got vic which is kind of a big reason why i was hoping we would have got vic earlier because now it's kind of just obsolete right once golden tickets come out not for every position right really just really just quarterbacks right now because that ap and those five abilities if you use them right can just be it's just so big for a quarterback golden tickets essentially create them the only way you get a god player is golden ticket quarterbacks those are the god players of the game and that's essentially what they're creating with rg3 and some of those guys so once they release golden ticket quarterbacks pretty much expect that any other quarterback drops even ultimate legends aren't going to be that viable anymore that's just kind of the case and how things work typically with this stuff but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I mean, we covered just about everything I did want to cover. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big uh, thumbs up again. And of course, if you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank, guys, down below. Use code Poodle at checkout. Take advantage of the EA tax covered. You can get a million coins pretty cheap, guys. For golden tickets, you can pick up a few of them. Golden tickets are cheaper this year, right? So you pick up a million coins, you could probably snag yourself two to three, maybe even four if you have some extra coins on top of that, guys. It's it's really great value. Take advantage. I've had to rank them last place for this list guys jerome bettis not fast enough that agile it's like those it's like derek the christmas derek henry card like you know like that kind of uh it'll feel like now just not worth it second Leroy glover because he's a defensive tackle michael vick first although you know he's first only any of these cards are meta at all in my opinion uh none of them probably will be better michael vick will be fun i just don't think it'll be meta but that's about it enjoy the rest of your day hopefully you guys did enjoy thank you so much for watching i'm out peace